He announced his candidacy. Most pundits thought he would have little impact on the race, but the Texas congressman's campaign has caught on with a lot of Republicans and some Democrats, too. He's not a front-runner, but Ron Paul is a phenomenon. His supporters incredibly loyal. We're out here to change our country. Many of his fans are young professionals willing to spend hours a day blogging and spreading the word on the Internet. Paul's claim to fame this year is raising $6 million in just one day. On YouTube, his videos and videos about him have millions of hits. Congressman Ron Paul, thank you so much for joining me. It's a new age in politics. So what makes this Texas congressman such a rock star to his followers? He's a medical doctor who says he has delivered more than 4,000 babies. He was first elected to the House of Representatives in 1976. He stepped out in 1984 and ran for president as a libertarian in 1988, then re-elected to the House in 1996. He's running for president now as a Republican, but his positions are not in the mainstream of his own party. He opposed the Iraq war from the beginning. Bush has a horrible foreign policy. He wants to get rid of the Federal Reserve. It's not constitutional. And he would abolish Social Security. It's gone. There's no money. Paul doesn't think illegal immigrants should be able to earn citizenship, and he favors building a 700-mile fence along the Mexican border. In Congress, he earned the nickname Dr. No, voting against so many spending bills that he says are unconstitutional. It all adds up to a campaign that has tapped into a distrust of the federal government. I'm mad as hell, and we're getting to the point where people are not going to take it anymore. Joining us now from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Republican candidate for President Ron Paul. Uh, Congressman Paul, we've had a lot of bad news about the economy recently. President Bush has proposed a stimulus package. Uh, you're an advocate of lower taxes. What do you think of this plan for tax rebates? You know, they, they've claimed that they've had an agreement, but the bill hasn't been written yet. But if what they say is true, that is essentially a lot of tax rebates and tax reductions, I'll probably be able to support that. But $150 billion for all the mistakes have been made for 10 or 20 years. It's not going to solve the problem. And, of course, uh, the Federal Reserve uh, just lowering interest rates, which means they're going to expand the money supply and de diminish the value of the dollar, will make our problems that much worse. Now, you have uh, proposed doing away with the federal income tax. What exactly are you proposing? Uh, Mike Huckabee has suggested a similar uh, proposal, but he would replace it with a sales tax. Is that what you're talking about? No, I, I don't want to replace it with anything, to tell you the truth. That sales tax has a lot of shortcomings. It probably would be slightly better than what we have, but not much, because he's not dealing with the expenditures. That's the problem. If we continue to spend, you have to collect revenue someplace, but we need to reduce spending enough that we can go back to the time when we didn't have an income tax. Obviously, the income tax brings in a tremendous amount of money, and a lot of that money goes toward entitlements, right? Yes, that, that, that is true, and that's why you should, ref that is why you should freeze entitlements. Um, but people who are totally dependent, uh, say uh, for medical benefits or educational benefits, I don't think we have to cut there if we would cut this overseas expenditures because there's so much room to cut. Maintaining troops in Korea and Japan and Europe and the Middle East, we're spending hundreds of billions of dollars that we could save if we brought our troops home and we could tie these people over until we got back to work again. But all great nations end when they spread themselves too, too, too thinly around the world. And this is what we have done. We've done exactly what other empires have done. The foreign policy is usually what brings a country to bankruptcy. Just as the Soviet system collapsed, they couldn't afford it any longer. And yet, isn't that, isn't that though, part of uh, our national security? Is that we have an interest in other parts of the world to make sure that they're secure? A lot of people believe that, but I don't, I don't believe that to be the case. As a matter of fact, I think we're in greater threat because we're there. We have more enemies. Uh, and our invasion of countries and nation building and telling them that they're going to live the way we do, such as we're doing in Iraq and Afghanistan, they're never going to tolerate that. That's equivalent to the Chinese coming here and telling us that we have to change our legal system and our religious values and that we're, they're here to protect uh, their interests. We wouldn't tolerate that. Social Security, what's your plan to save Social Security? I've heard that you want to abolish Social Security. What exactly is well, your plan? Well, eventually I think that is the case. I offer the chance of all young people to get out and they love the idea. 
But uh, the people who are dependent on, I would tide them over, but I would save the money elsewhere. I would, we told them we were going to give them their money back, even though it's all been spent. But if people would have spent money the way I have and voted against all these expenditures, the money would still be there. I've never voted once to spend any penny. So even though I would like to see a transition and let people assume responsibility for themselves, I probably have voted uh, the best policy in order to protect uh, Social Security. But Congressman, if, a lot of the young people, if they, if they choose to get out of the system, we know it's a pay-as-you-go system, what would that mean in terms of the ability of, to pay for the Social Security system right now? It's going to make it a lot worse unless we do what I say about cutting hundreds of billions of dollars from overseas. That's why uh, the uh, the foreign policy is what's draining us. And and we could and the, some of these other programs we could at least freeze it, but we could start getting rid of places like the Department of Energy and Department of Education in order to take care of these promises that we made. Uh, who, who are in, dependent on a government who are getting their medical and, and retirement benefits. Congressman, in Washington State, we have a caucus on February 9th. We have a primary on February 19th. As a presidential candidate, which one is more important to you? Well, to tell you the truth, they both are, and, uh, and we're treating them equally important. So uh, I, I'm not uh, sure whether the emphasis is going to be one over the other. But they, the state is important, and we're going to do our best in rallying the troops. And right now, we've been very encouraged by the number of people who have joined us up there. You've come in second in Nevada, but you haven't won a state yet. Uh, if for any reason you don't win the Republican nomination, would you consider running as an independent? No, I'm not considering that. I, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Why not? Because I uh, am in this for the long haul, and it's going to last a long time. There were 11 of us that started. Now we're down to five, and right now gross votes are I'm ahead of Giuliani. So we're moving up pretty good from having been totally unknown and not supported the mainstream media. So uh, we have to continue this. By the time it's, it's self-evident about where we're going to come in finally, it's going to be too late to do that anyway. So uh, and it's very, very difficult. Uh, the system is very biased against uh, the democratic process. You know, you can't get in the debates and you can't get on ballots. I've been through that, so it's very discouraging. Congressman Ron Paul joining us from Florida. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. What do you think of Mr. Paul's ideas? And would you vote for him as a Republican or an independent? Type in king5.com slash up front. Also, tell us what you think about using public money to renovate Husky Stadium. Last week on this program,